offering condolences, uh, including a lot of strip headliners. ABC's Lindsay Janice has more on that. I'm sorry for getting emotional. I'm, I'm not great with this kind of thing, uh, but I just think it's important. Las Vegas native Jimmy Kimmel breaking down Monday night. This morning, we have children without parents and fathers without sons, mothers without daughters. Speaking out on gun control loopholes and the victims of the tragedy. All these devastated families who now have to live with this pain forever because one person with a violent and insane voice in his head managed to stockpile a, connection of, a collection of high-powered rifles and use them to shoot people. Right now, there are loopholes in the law that let people avoid background checks if they buy a gun privately from another party, if they buy a gun online or at a gun show. So I want to show you something. These are the face of the senators who, days after the shooting in Orlando, voted against a bill that would have closed those loopholes. These are the 56 senators who didn't want to do anything about that. Overnight, a huge outpouring of support from some of the city's biggest stars. I love Las Vegas, feeling so broken this morning, wrote Jennifer Lopez. We are not going to allow this tragedy to stop any of us from entertaining audiences in that great city. Superstar Donny Osmond says the shows must go on, but will they? How does a moment last forever? The queen of Las Vegas herself, Celine Dion, who tweeted praying for all the innocent victims and their families, as of now, still scheduled to perform her long-running show tonight at Caesars. I think th the question is, how much is this going to hurt the overall live music appeal of Las Vegas? Las Vegas is Teller in my home. Best people in the world live here, work here, and visit here. Penn Gillette of the famed magic duo Penn and Teller, who've been on a Las Vegas stage for 21 years and counting, sending out a message of love and perhaps one of the most well-known performers, fondly known as Mr. Las Vegas, sending a heartfelt thank you to the heroes. Las Vegas will not be defined by that incident.